Hello everybody. This is a video where I will be house sitting Devin's cats. I've never taken care of cats before, but I'm really excited to try and I wanted to take everybody on this journey. <laughs> Let's go. Jen is going to be cat sitting for me because I am traveling to New York City and we don't have a cat sitter. I've always really liked Devin's cats. I just think they're the cutest, floofiest, weirdest looking little boys and I just love their little weird faces and their big eyes. These cats are my sons and they've been kicking with me since 2011. They're both boy cats, they're both seven years old. The number one thing my cats love to do is tear into my I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I woke up to my plant being out of its little plant holder, my little succulent. Yeah, I, I'm talking to you. To, you guys somehow got into your Benito Flakes bag and then like shat or vomited on the rug. Oh my God. I'm at Devin's house. I'm entering the house. Hi! Oh my god, hi! Wow, you guys are right there. Hi, babies! Hi! I went over to Devin's house earlier this week and she showed me where they keep their food. She wrote up how much to feed them, information about them, medication, what to do in case of emergencies. You guys hungry? Yeah, they're hungry babies. Hi! So I'm in Devin's kitchen right now. She explained to me they get one can of wet food in the morning. Yeah, I know you want breakfast. He just jumped right up on the counter. And I actually think. Oh, sh. Bones is throwing up. Uh oh. Hairball? Maybe? Another thing that's a little interesting about my cats is Bones has acid reflux. It sounds really scary. It's just because he scarfs his food down too quickly. Oh! We got two kitty bowls full of wet food. We're gonna go feed them. All right, so I found poop. <gasps> oh, sh there's poop on the floor. And vomit. Oh, sh there's throw up on the floor too. I have to change the litter box. Yeah, yeah, they poop a lot. So you'll scoop out the poop and then there's probably a bunch of litter left in there. And then if you need to add more litter, then you can just add it on top of that. You don't have to get rid of the existing litter since you already got rid of the poop. I need to do this at least once a day. There's two cats, they poop a lot. If you let it sit overnight, it gets a little bad. This is like really heavy. There's so much poop in here. All right, so as far as I can tell, this was a successful morning one, and now I gotta go to work. So I'm currently at work. The cats are back at Devin's house, obviously. And now that I'm at work, I'm starting to realize that I am more allergic than I thought because since I got a break from the cats, uh, I definitely noticed that my sinuses had cleared up. Like I hadn't even noticed that they'd been getting a little bit uh, congested when I was there. But then when I got to work, I was like, oh shit, I can breathe a lot better. This morning was nice and the cats were like very cute and it was a little bit stressful, but ultimately I feel okay. I really do hope they like me. I could tell they were both a little bit apprehensive when I got to their house and so I just really want both cats to like me and want to spend time with me so hopefully they do. It's after work. I have headed back to Devin's house. The cats are not allowed in Devin's room, which is why I'm in here. I wanted to put all my clothes down and my stuff down so there'd be like a base so that the cats wouldn't interact with like some of my clothing and some of the things that I put near my face. They are right at the door. Hey guys. Hey, oh no, we're not allowed in Devin's room. I feel like they're just a little bit lonely. I think they've been home alone all day and they just want a little attention. When you walk into my house, they'll greet you. They'll like meow at you. They want pets. Being really cute. Yeah. Hi. Hey, baby. Hey. Hey. Hey, Bones. End of the night. I'm just getting home, giving the kids a little bit of dry food. So far, everything seems good. They haven't destroyed anything or fought. Yeah. They're good boys. They're pretty photogenic. Just woke up. I didn't realize how affectionate cats could be. have a way of just always seemingly being exactly where you don't need them to be. Great, yeah, just make yourself comfortable. I couldn't find Mars anywhere, and then I heard a noise underneath my chair, and guess what? 
It's been under there the whole time. Bones really wants to go outside. So when Jen comes over, she's gonna notice that Bones is gonna set up shop right in front of our door and just meow at it. So I let Bones out. He kinda got out accidentally because I was taking out the trash. Jen can let him outside as long as she's outside with him and she'll just notice all he wants to do is roll around on the concrete and destroy my flowers. Feel a little bit anxious about him being out here but he doesn't seem to really want to run away. He seems to just want to do this. I've been with the cats uh, for all of the weekend and it's been pretty chill, but the one thing I've noticed is that they follow me around when they think I'm leaving. Hope Jen is prepared for a little company um, when she's in the bathroom. Oh, hi. Oh, okay, hi. I feel like as soon as one of them can sense the other's getting attention, then they come and try and hang out with you. Hi. These past two days have been pretty chill. I've never lived with cats or had much experience with cats and I didn't realize how much attention they needed. I also am allergic to them, so I constantly had to like disinfect and I know that I wasn't cuddling them as much as they wanted and that's why they were always like meowing at me every time I left the bedroom. It was really nice getting to know Mars and Bones. They're very sweet. Bones, I think, liked me a lot because Mars sort of kept to himself. Bones was following me around the entire time. He was sitting on my lap. I enjoyed being a cat mom for a few days and I also learned that cats Cats are incredible, amazing creatures, and I get why lesbians love them so much. And uh, yeah, now this homosexual is gonna go eat some toast and go to work. See ya! Hey, Unsolved is on a new channel, and now your part. Subscribe, Subscribe here. here. That was my part.